Hello there. Today, we are going to be talking about one of the dumbest and most undeserving billionaires in the world, aka Elon Musk. Now, if you don't know who Elon Musk is, I'm just going to straight up assume you're either born yesterday or straight up not from this planet because how? But generally speaking, the average person, or at least average American, knows Elon Musk is, whether you know him because his cars, his spaceships, or the fact that he ruined Twitter, you know a little something about Elon. Now, the reason I wanted to take a look at Elon is not only is he a bad person, which is expected from a billionaire, but he's also just a generally weird person. And his own products are just filled with false advertising false quality and are frankly just dangerous to be on the road and it just amazed me that he has yet to be called out sued or arrested for any of this stuff Franz, could you try to break this glass please yeah sure yeah oh my fucking god well Maybe that was a little too hard. <laughs> that, oh my fucking God, was him realizing that his whole fucking marketing for that piece of shit vehicle just crumbled completely by that one fucking throw. He really chose the skinniest motherfucker he could find and that motherfucker threw it as slow and soft as he could and Elon had the audacity to say, maybe he threw it a bit too hard. That was no quicker and no harder than how I used to pitch in elementary school. That was, hell, that was significantly slower. I pitched a fucking baseball faster than that in fourth grade, and Elon's trying to say he threw it too hard? They're supposed to be bulletproof, Elon. It didn't go through, Let's so that's a, that's a plus side. Let's try the right. Okay. Try that one, really? Yeah. Okay. Sure. <laughs> oh man, it didn't go through. Elon, he threw that with the strength of the toddler that you like to role play as. And you're gonna sit there and tell me that you're trying to say at least it didn't go through? I would hope it wouldn't go through. I don't think that would have went through on any type of fucking car, Elon. Those windows are shattered. How long does it take to get through a Cybertruck with a pickaxe? Compared to the aluminum F-150. Oops. Dude, that was like 10 hits minimum. This thing here started to peel up and I think it might all just come off. <gasps> no, no way. Now that's a quality build if I've ever seen one. Am I right? I know there's bound to be at least one motherfucker in the comments like, Why are you ever taking a pickaxe to your cyber truck? And that's not really the point of the pickaxe thing. I'll agree that is a bit unrealistic. I want to point out the fact that if it's getting penetrated by a pickaxe, it's not going to be able to withstand many bullets. Like maybe it's deflecting one at most. And then the other thing is I'm not really even majorly concerned on the whole pickaxe part where he hits it with the pickaxe. The main problem is the fact that the car can come apart like a fucking Lego. The fact that anyone can just steal that part of your car so long as they have anything that's strong that, that can pry it off, whether it be a crowbar, whether it be a pickaxe or any, like it could be a fucking butter knife that, that could pry that off. Did you all see how fucking easy he got that shit off? He did it with just his hands. That is not quality build. That is not acceptable, dude. You just glued your truck together. That's not okay. Three fingers. That is not okay. Oh my god! Our whole frame just snapped. The, the hitch is hooked up to what? Jeez. That thing's totaled. You're not fixing that. The truck is totaled. Like any other normal truck could do that and you're not gonna break the frame, it's sealed. Let's say your trailer, it gets a flat and then it hits a pothole, it could shear this whole thing off. I'm honestly starting to think the idea that the car is made of glue honestly isn't wrong. Cause what the fuck? The guy says any truck can do that, but any SUV could do that. Any small car with a trailer hitch on it could do that and not have its entire fucking rear ripped off like nothing. 
that is a horrible design. And on top of it being a horrible design for both just the car as a whole and like enjoying it, it's an incredibly dangerous design because like that guy said, you hit a pothole on the fucking road, suddenly your entire back of your car is no longer on your car, which is making your car all fucked up in terms of how it's gonna drive. But also you have a trailer, a truck, a boat, whatever you're putting on this truck and is behind the truck is now freely going on the road, willingly able to hit anyone. Good designs, Elon Musk. There was advertisers leaving. We talked to Bob Iger today. I hope today. they stop. You hope? Uh, don't advertise. You don't want them to advertise? No. What do you mean? So if somebody's gonna try to blackmail me with advertising, blackmail me with money, go f yourself. But go f yourself. Now this is Elon Musk's response to companies not wanting to advertise on Twitter due to the fact that Elon Musk made Twitter a complete shithole where it's a cesspool of racism and transphobia and it's just a horrible website. So these companies are like, we don't want to advertise for you. And somehow in Elon's little mind, that's the equivalent of blackmail? So somehow he views that as blackmail, and this is his incredibly professional response, my add, very professional of him, to just say, go fuck yourselves. And you would figure with a demeanor like that, he wouldn't have cared, right? He surely doesn't care if these people stop advertising on Twitter, right? Well, you can't be more than wrong. Guess what this motherfucker goes and does. I genuinely cannot imagine being so much of a weirdo and loser that I go to say, I don't care if these people do not advertise on my website, they can go fuck themselves for all I care. But then sue them because they don't want to fucking advertise on your shitty racist website, Elon. What mental gymnastics did you go through to go from not caring about them not advertising to trying to full on sue them and ruin them over it? Like you're a shitty weirdo of a human being, Elon. Then again, what else are you gonna expect from a Trump supporter who fires workers for going on strike? Go figure the anti-union guy who uses slave labor for his products fucking sucks. My God, I know, it's a shocker. However, I want to leave one last thing for the very end of this because if there's something you did not know about him, I would assume it to be this. The greatest thing that Elon Musk has tried to keep hidden, and I have found it, and I want to expose it all to you because this is just amazing. The images on screen right now is proof slash confirmation that Elon Musk is a fur baby. Now I have never been one to judge someone for something like being a furry or any of that, but for Elon I'm making exception because Elon is the type of person that hates on furries and people who do their thing like that. Whilst he cosplays, or I, I guess I should say role plays, as a fucking toddler. And I would say that is far less normal than furries. Now, as I go and end this video, I want you guys to just lay your eyes on this image right here. Because this is what a fur baby is at least what Elon's fur baby is. As you can see, he's in his little fur onesie acting like a toddler. And that's what he likes to do throughout his days. That's what he does. If he's not making shitty quality vehicles, he's cosplaying as this. Now that you can't get that out your head, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in the next one.